Yo, what's up everyone? External here. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield for the Nintendo Switch. I don't know why that was such an awkward intro. Why do I feel like the audio is not recording? But last time we beat the first gym, that's our team. In between episodes, I did claim the mystery gift because it was about to expire. But, today we're heading off to the second gym for the first time on the channel, and I'm going to move out of the way. That window's open. The window's been open before, but the curtains and the window. And that's because it's 10.44 a.m. I doubt I'm going to be yelling. Plus, I don't really need the AC anymore, because it's starting to get cool out. It's mid-September. I lost the remote already. There. But... It's great to play this game again. I took yesterday off. I took, as I said, Thursday was yesterday off from recording. So, today, aka Friday, I have to... I have to record now, which is all... I just mixed up the words okay and alright. I don't know how I did that, but... But that's fine with me. I like recording, so. Quick attack. Water pulse. That's gonna KO. Then hopefully Power Trip does a decent amount of damage. Zigzagoon and Stuffle leveled up. Baby Doll Eyes. Keep old moves. Power trip. Water pulse. How much is water pulse going to do? More than I expected. That's for certain. I don't know what's wrong with my display. It says no signal, even though it's also showing the gameplay at the same time. It's legit showing my gameplay and saying no signal. Which makes zero sense since... Well, there is signal. I'm trying not to say single instead. I can't. I don't know how, but I'm messing up. I can't even see on my screen now because I shut it off, turned it back on. It says no signal again. Oh, now it's evolving. Ooh, loud. Well, now we have a Corvus Squire. Our second evolution of the playthrough, followed by the one we had in yesterday's episode, since the episode went out yesterday. There's probably like a good Pokemon that spawns here. Nope, nothing I really need. I don't need anything for the next gym. Oh, wait, the daycare's here? I thought it was right before the big bridge over the wild area. Oh, it is. We're gonna use that bike to... Why? My TV has to update now. It says, please do not power off your TV. We'll restart to finish the update. I don't want it to restart. I'm recording. I have a mini smart TV for my consoles that I record on, like my Wii U, my Switch, and then my PC uses the big smart TV.
I feel like I'm definitely under leveled. Actually, I think I'm at a good point. If we're above the trainers. Second gym, level 20. That's pretty high. Especially since I'm used to the second gym. The Pokemon aren't Thievil. I don't know Thievil. We'll switch to one of our weaker Pokemon now. Unless Thievil's the evolution of the fox. Then I know who Thievil is. It is. Wow. A fully evolved Pokemon already? That's actually crazy. I'm hoping to get Yamper to evolve today. I don't think it will happen, but Yamper is going to be very helpful during the gym battle. Or at least I'm hoping we make it to the gym today. It's almost 11 a.m. I could probably get one, two more videos done today. Since tonight is the 24 hour live stream. We're starting at about 8, 8 p.m. Eastern, so my whole thing's going to be getting through the night. I don't know how I'm going to do that without passing out. That's going to be a challenge, which is why I have to record two videos today at least. Probably three, that way I can have enough content to get through. the weekend since Sunday I'm probably not going to want to record because I could see myself taking a break after this stream that's how stressful I see it even though I recorded for an entire day when I did Sun and Moon I legit did half the game in a day so Yamper's under level for sure oh not that much Yamper is also just weak. So, luckily not too weak where we can win. Well, Yamper did enough. We'll bring in someone stronger. Because Yamper gave us paralysis and took a lot of the damage down. Now we'll have Stuffle, who's the same level, finish it with Brutal Swing. I don't remember which move stronger, Brutal Swing or Payback. Let's check. 60, 50. Oh, Brutal Swing is stronger. This Brutal Swing might be the finishing move. It is. Unless this Grunt has two Pokemon, which... I think might be the case. Keep old moves. Yamper leveled up. I don't know what level Yamper evolves. I have a weird feeling we're going to get an evolution by the end of the video. Like another one. Another Team Yelgrunt. Sableye. That's a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. The reason I picked Corvusquire for our team is because Corviknight is OP. Normally, I had Colossal in my team when I first played through the game. We'll probably end up getting a Colossal like later. Later, we'll end up replacing one of our weaker Pokemon. Honestly, it's probably going to be Obstagoon. Since I have a feeling by the time we end up catching, we're going to end up getting our Colossal Wild. It's either going to be Ninjask or Zigzagoon that get replaced. We'll go back in with Stuffle. Brutal Swing. 
I don't know why, but I really want to play Super Mario 3D World all of a sudden. And reason I haven't played it on the channel is because I was originally going to do it in a collab Let's Play right after 3D Land, but then I couldn't get it working on an emulator. Same with why I wanted to why New Super Mario Bros. U. That was originally going to be the follow up as well. But I couldn't get a working Wii U emulator. I couldn't get Simu to work. And then I get the capture card. I got Sean to do New Super Mario Bros. U. But the people I want to play 3D World with are busy. I said people because there's going to be a four player Let's Play. There honestly might be two four player Let's Plays on the channel. Since I'm probably going to play with a few other friends too. Rotom bike. That's cool. I just don't like how every game now over utilizes Rotom. Rotom decks. Rotom phone. Rotom bike. Oh, hop. Nope. Is there any way around? I could go through Galler Mine. I don't want to. I warned you. I don't like Hop. I already said that. It's his personality is annoying. Wooloo. Also, his Pokemon are absolute garbage. Let's have a taste of what a gym badge holder's team can do. Just stop talking. You talk too much. So do I, but... I'm a YouTuber. I have to talk. Otherwise, the video would be boring because it's just... That's what the early videos on the channel were like, though. Because I didn't always have commentary. So, now I try to talk even if it's just dumb crap the whole time. That's still weird that I have the window open. Corvus Squire. Switch Pokemon. We'll switch to Yamper. If he takes down one Pokemon, it's not a big deal. Yamper is super effective anyway. Even though Yamper has like no electric moves, which needs to change by the time we get to the gym. Which I think we're like halfway to. Luckily, we know everything about Corvus Squire because we have one. It won't do too much damage. Paralysis is more of what I want. I've mastered type matchups since the first time we battled. What do you mean? Peck, that doesn't do too much, right? Yeah, we're good. I don't know why people hate this game. Oh, I forgot question of the day. And we're 13 minutes in. Question of the day. Who's your favorite water type Pokemon? And who's your favorite second gym leader? I would actually have to say my favorite second gym leader. That's tough because I really don't like Brawly. And most of the time, the Hoenn gym leaders are normally my favorite because I know about them the most. I'd have to say Misty. I completely forgot about Misty, and I'm like, well, of the games I vividly remember, Grant's a good gym leader, but I've only beaten Grant twice, so, like, in two playthroughs of the game, so, I don't have that much knowledge, plus, it's not a memorable battle to me, Lenora, I'm pretty sure, is a second gym leader, I'm 80% sure she uses normal types. I really don't like normal types. Mm. 
Misty, major part of my childhood, mainly because of the anime. When I was like eight, I thought Misty was hot, which is just, it's just funny to say now that I'm way older, that eight-year-old me, like seven, eight-year-old me, thought Misty was attractive. Well, this is the same person who thought May was attractive. I was in, I was in fucking middle school then, though. Fifth, sixth grade, and basically middle school. Well, Lenora as a gym leader, she's a good gym leader. I struggled with the Lenora gym battle. I just don't like normal type Pokemon. Grant, I remember struggling with briefly, especially during the Let's Play. But I couldn't tell you his team. I know he has the Rock Dinosaur. And then, I don't know. Most of these Galar gym leaders I just don't like. I haven't played Gen 2. I haven't played Gen 4. Alola doesn't even count. I'm pretty sure Alola doesn't even count, but... Who would the second be, technically? If it's Olivia, we're counting because Kahuna's... Olivia is up there on my tier list for sure because I struggled with Olivia like I severely struggled off camera on camera. I did it. I think third try but And then if we're talking Hala Hala is an awesome kahuna even though I say Hala could be counted second because you had the normal type guy, and then you had Hala. It's all about, I'd say, to make a good gym leader, you need good personality. You need the battle to be somewhat challenging to where you're at in the game. You also need them to have a good team and a Pokemon typing that's not annoying. Poison types are annoying. Electric types are annoying. Ground types are annoying. Rock types are annoying. Dragon types just piss me off. Water gym. Well, I can't say anything about Nessa because, well, I haven't beaten that gym yet on this safe. I, I don't remember the... What the... Okay. Did my TV just shut off? The TV shut off. It said it said for basically this whole Let's Play that it was gonna update firmware. Your TV is updating to finish the upgrade. The TV will restart. Please do not power off your TV. It, of course, has to shut off when I get to the next town. But my favorite water type now, Spiel. Hands down, Spiel. I don't think I have to even explain myself. Spiel's just awesome. My TV is annoying me about this, though. That I can't even... I can't even see my screen. We'll probably end up eventually adding Gengar and Surfetched when we get to the end of the game. Uh, no, we can't. We don't have the DLC. Oh, it's... Chairman's quite busy. Why is the chairman... Why is the chairman running around in his underwear? Keep doing your work for their sake. And you were... Bead, sir. How far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Want to win the gym challenge? I won't lose to anyone. I'll be on my way now. Hold on. I think the TV's working again. That's why you see me looking over there. Because I'm just looking at the display on OBS now. Instead of because the screen right in front of me 
isn't working because it updated and now it's just not working. It's turning on, the TV's turning on. Join him there, do not keep him waiting. You look like a super villain, why would I listen to you? Okay, I'm ready, let's go. Oh, why? She's at the lighthouse. Okay, pretty sure it's this way. Yeah, the lighthouse has to be this way. Well, I can't do anything here. My monitor's legit done. How do you know? League card. I don't know why we're such a big deal. All we did was get endorsed by Leon because he's our neighbor's brother. That's like my neighbors being considered a big deal because they live next door to me. I got the lure ball. I do not remember the water challenge. For some reason, I just remember Misty's gym whenever it comes to water gym being second. Wait, I just realized this game has a second gym water type just like the original. I wonder if I'm even going to be able to use this monitor today. It's going to be tough to when I'm not streaming because otherwise, actually not, nah, it could be easy if I just use OBS or Streamlabs to navigate through my console even if I'm not recording. Let's go. Water type challenge. I don't remember. What is it? Oh, it's this one. I remember this. I hated this. It was actually confusing. Challenging maze. The buttons. Okay, I could figure it out for sure. Okay, so that means I do have to battle this trainer. Yeah, I'm ready. I don't even know what Pokemon I have at the front of my team, but I'm hoping it's something good. Like, I'm seriously hoping it's something good I have and not something stupid like Corvusquire. Okay. I like Corvusquire. I've said that, but Corvusquire is just not going to be good in this situation. Especially since we are under leveled. Damn. Actually, Corvus Squire might not be too bad. Now that I'm looking at it. Okay, Corvus Squire might not be too bad. We didn't battle enough wild Pokemon. That's why we're so under leveled. We're definitely going to have to get into more battles going forward. That was a critical hit. Corvus Squire used Pluck. I might go into settings right after this battle. I'm gonna have to change text speed. I swear, this game is slow with the text. I recently learned what, I'm seven updates behind, I just read the monitor. Up, installing update three of seven, now it says downloading update four of seven. How am I seven updates behind? Of course you got soaked. You have water types. You're in the water gym. And then... Okay, and then that allows me to get to the next one. So it's required for me to battle that trainer, I guess, unless, well, yeah, there's no way around it. 
Oh well, it's just another trainer. I don't see the big deal. We need the battles anyway. We're up to update 7 of 7. Restarting TV. Finally, I might be able to play on the screen right in front of me. Right there. Instead of right there. Oh. I've never seen that logo before. I've never seen the logo of the TV anyway, so... I need to dust off these screens. They're dusty as hell. I'm trying to turn it on now. Because it said it was going to restart. Corvus Squire's trapped. Are we going to lose Corvus Squire here? Not like... This isn't a Nuzlocke, but... Are we not going to have Corvus Squire for this gym battle? Okay. Just show me the game. Please. I just want to be able to look right in front of me and play. Okay. Probably just have to do input again. HDMI. Okay, there. In the gym, we get everything back. There. Now. Wait, two Pokemon? I wasn't paying attention. It's going to be weird not looking over there anymore. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to switch. And use the main strategy for our gym battle. It's 11.10 a.m. Wow. You guys might get like three back-to-back -back gym battle episodes. Since the fire type gym leader who's next is my favorite in this game because he's from the Hoenn region. Who's the third gym leader in the. Oh my god, I just figured it out. So, Kabu was originally a gym leader in Hoenn because he said he's from Hoenn. He looks like he's the age of a grandfather. Flannery said her grandfather originally ran the gym that she runs. Kabu ran the fourth gym in Hoenn. I don't know why people say Flannery's gym is so difficult. It's easy. I'm probably going to say that again next episode. Especially since I'm filming that right after this. I still haven't started Journeys. I'm still on episode 2. I watched it like a year ago. That's about it. I don't know when I'll have time to watch Journeys since it's probably I'm probably going to start it after the Let's Play unless I binge it off camera because I'm going to have my schedule today is we're not even going to have our super effective in the gym battle. Damn. But So my schedule today is It's 11 right now It's 11.12 But I'm gonna be filming For the rest of The morning Probably till about 1 P.M. Pin missile That's a good move Plus it's a bug type move So Actually I'll get rid of Leer and then, because at 1 I start streaming, I'll probably stream until like 2, 3 o'clock. Probably closer to 3. And then, I'm gonna... I'm gonna work on some music. Wait, I remember a trick here. I remember I figured out some weird trick in this gym that I couldn't remember. It's probably the red switch. 
It's probably gonna block that, though. Yeah. I can't. I have to battle for the blue switch. Then I don't remember what the trick was. Because I remembered walking into this gym that I had a trick. That probably was the trick. Just to walk around the trainer. Like that. Like that, we finished. We just now have the entire maze to do again in some weird way that I can't figure out. I need to adjust yellow now. Oh no. No matter what, I'm stuck. No, wait, no, I'm not. Because I can just go this way, unless there's a blue one that way blocking me. Did I butcher the gym that badly? Okay, wait. So now if I go this way, I could probably adjust yellow to... This is actually a challenge. Huh? What? Maybe if I go back to the beginning, I could probably figure it out. I don't even know what I was just talking about because my recording ended because I ran out of space, so I have to continue here. And I don't know why, when I get interrupted, I forget what I was talking about. Oh yeah, we couldn't figure out this gym. With that, we could get through here. Back to the beginning. Need to... Okay. But blue is still blocking us. There's part of the challenge I never got through, that's why. Okay. I'm just dumb. I'm guessing it's that simple. Oh wait, now I could easily continue. Just go through there. Go down there. That is embarrassing that I couldn't figure this out. At the same time, I have the IQ of a four year old. I'm not intelligent. Yes, I passed high school and with like amazing grades in 90s but somehow I'm still a moron look the other way thank you Hold on. Do I have to do yellow then blue? I have to do, yeah, that allows me to get up there and then. Look away. Thank you. Now this makes sense. B. 
because now the yellow part's gonna be fine. Oh man! I don't wanna battle. I don't have any Pokemon left to battle. Please have like one Pokemon. It's a Remoraid. We should be good as long as there's no second Pokemon. Then I know we won't get annihilated. Two Pokemon. We're getting annihilated. But, oh well. This is a 40 minute video mainly of me figuring out a gym puzzle that should take the average person about 10 minutes. As I said, Remoraid's a joke. Our Corvusquire on 3 HP could beat that whole Pokemon. Shoodle. I'll switch my Pokemon. I'll switch to Stuffle. I want to get some Pokemon in who don't have a lot of screen time. I just realized why Corvusquire's at the front of our team. Because of last time. Super effective Pokemon... against the first gym. I never changed it for this gym. Well, a few of those brutal swings could definitely finish this off. The gym leader has three Pokemon tops. That's already known. Since the first gym leader had two. The second gym leader probably won't have that many more than the first. If we lose any more Pokemon here, that's bad. Also, since well, since when does Tackle have anything to do with biting? Because it looks like Choodle's just biting us when it's using Tackle. Well, Corvusquire's level 20. Clover Squire's level 20. We defeated all three gym trainers. <laughs> Unintentionally. Might I add. Okay. Now. I probably figured that out first time, first try the last time, but we did it. We beat the gym. Now it's on to the gym leader. Gym mission cleared. That was actually tough. Let's go. Welcome, honored gym challenger. No, I don't have a refined mind. I'm an idiot. I already said that. I can't rage today because my window is open. I'm not even getting mad, yet those dogs are barking. Three Pokemon. That's shocking. That's really shocking that... Three Pokemon for the second gym. Normally it's one Pokemon in the first gym. Two in the second. Like, one to two in the first gym. Most games I've played, it's two Pokemon. Two Pokemon. Three Pokemon. Three Pokemon. Four Pokemon. Four Pokemon. No, that can't be right. It's normally Gym 5 has four, six has five, and then seven and eight normally have full teams.
we're already two Pokemon down in the beginning of the gym battle, so I need to be absolutely careful now. I forgot to change tech speed. I'll probably do that in between episodes because I'm going to have to edit this now since, well, the video's legit cut in half because I ran out of space, so I'll have to edit this and then I'll probably record the next one. Meaning, I don't even know if there will be a second one recorded today. There kind of has to be or there won't be a post tomorrow. I don't want to struggle this badly with the second gym leader. That's just as embarrassing as the first. Okay, Goldine hits first like every time. It's starter time. This is the first Pokemon the gym leader's using. We're under leveled most likely. Yeah, we are. Water Pulse is it's the same type move, but it hopefully does damage. Not very effective. Exactly. I didn't think it would be. I'm just trying to win with the very few assets I have left. One Pokemon down. We don't even have super effective moves anymore. We have a water type and a bug type. And we're fighting Aracuda. Isn't that the missile looking thing? Yeah, it is. Oh, Aracuda, because it's an arrow. I just caught on to that. That's sad. This game's been out. Three years going on four. Yet, I didn't know it was... And this is why I say I'm not the brightest. We have one Pokemon left. We can... Dreadnought, that's the giant, that's Choodle's evolution. I know that because I've used Dreadnought before. Okay. Same strategy as Nessa. Dynamax. And then the water move, I can't remember the name. Why does it become a Premier Ball whenever Pokemon Dynamaxes? That is intimidating, I don't know why, but it just is. Okay. We're three levels below our opponent. Max strike, that's tackle. Yet that almost just KO'd. Hopefully Geyser does enough. Geyser put a dent. That's good. Max Geyser put a dent. The first time in the whole Let's Play, we're healing because, well, we're going to need it because bug types are weak and our last Pokemon's a bug type. Okay. Max Darkness again. Please just survive. Oh no. We lost. I hate to say it, we lost. One Max Darkness will destroy. Right now.
Oh wait, maybe we'll survive. It's regular v regular now. I'm looking at that level difference. Yeah, it's time. This is the smarter option. Razor shell. That's gonna KO. Did I call it? Yes. This battle is way too close for the second gem. Hopefully razor shell doesn't kill here. Well, are we going to have to redo the entire puzzle? I hope not. Well, now that we have a full team, we might be able to tank. Because we also can now save our Yamper for the end and just fly through the gym like that we can just use well I'm gonna set up our strategy real quick Pokemon we're just gonna put drizzle in front Are we going to have to do the gym mission again? I was hoping it would let us skip just right right to the gym leader. Oh, never mind. We do get to skip the gym mission completely and take on the gym leader. Okay, that's good. Do all the fans have to go through the gym mission to get here too, or... Well, probably not. Probably there's like... These stadiums are probably so complex. Well, buildings are complex. If I had to compare my intelligence to a cartoon character, it'd probably be Jerry Smith from Rick and Morty. I make fun of myself for being stupid, even though I was an honors student in high school and middle school. Well, 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 we meet again. Little fishy's gonna lose again. Water pulse does a good amount of damage, so... I'd say five turns tops. Horn attack, I know, does a lot, too. Not even a lot, just does a good amount. Critical hit. I was going to say, that's 100% a critical hit. Agility, that's a new one. I didn't see agility the last time. Now that we have a full team, we're about to body. We're about to body her team. See, one down already. That's not bad. Arrokuda. Arrokuda was an easy opponent, too. It's when you get to the Gigantamax or Dynamax. I know the difference, but at the same time, I think it's stupid. Because the only difference is some Pokemon Gigantamax, meaning they get a special form. Meanwhile, the other one just Dynamax and get big. Like Charizard. Gets a Gigantamax, as you guys see. With the uh, Charizard in the opening sequence. And you will see at the end of the game when we face the champion. That's not a spoiler, because you guys already know who the champion is. They revealed it early on this time.
Yeah, we're gonna switch. Go Yamper. One down. One last Pokemon. Dreadnought. Max Lightning. See? Also, isn't that dangerous flooding the stadium? Since the barricades are so low, it's going to cause some serious damage. At least they should have like a dome around the audience, like a glass wall or something to prevent like excess fire, lightning, just like a protective barrier. That shows that safety isn't the priority here. Why am I thinking with so much logic? It's a Pokemon game. That is cute yet terrifying because it's a giant dog. It's a giant puppy. Puppies are playful. They destroy things. Max strike. As long as this doesn't KO, I think we're in the clear. I cannot survive another one of those, so please just do your thing, Max Lightning. That's it? Max Geyser did more. And this is super effective. This is Max Geyser. That's gonna KO. Because Yamper's weak. And I said this was going to be an easy win. Well, we made it two turns. That's good. Now it's time for Drizzle to go back out there. And rematch. Water Pulse. Max Darkness will destroy any Pokemon because it's a max move against a regular Pokemon. Just annihilates. Like, even Corvusquire has to go out now. Just because how... Purely how long... Dreadnought was Gigantamax. Or Dynamax. Now it's a fair fight as long as Razor Shell doesn't one hit everything. As long as. Emphasis on that. Why? Is my team that weak? I'm worried we're gonna lose. I am beyond worried. Since supposedly I said this was gonna be easy, well I did, but... The rain stopped. I have a strategy. It may or may not work. But it's worth a shot. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably going to fail. Never mind. Next, I was going to have to revive Drizzle to take hits. But since I have the chance, I'll use False Swipe, get a little bit of damage in there. Legit like 10 damage. Razor Shell, thank you for your help. Yamper, let's go.
Razor shell, please don't kill. Please don't kill. Come on. Well, I need to go level up my team and I don't think I need to show that since it's going to probably take 40 minutes. It's 11.40 now, so. Real quick, I'm going to go do that. So, Zigzagoon started evolving while I was leveling up. Our team's at a good point. We should win this time. Attempt number three. Zigzagoon evolved into Linoon. We did get our extra evolution. I had a feeling it would be. Oh, I thought it was evolving again. I'm like, what? Night Slash? That's better than Sand Attack, so... Well, at least our team's a bit stronger now. I didn't do too much leveling up. I leveled up on the route right outside the town. Quickly, we'll heal up and then head to the gym. I hate how all the hair is blocking my eyes. I need a haircut. We have two second stage Pokemon. No, three second stage Pokemon in our team. No, four, I think, actually. Let's see. Yeah, the only first forms are Stuffle and Yamper, who hopefully will evolve soon. Yamper learned an electric type move, so we might actually be able to get through this relatively easy. And I mean like a good electric type move as well, not one of those crap ones. So, we should be good. I'm hoping, because I'm hoping to get another video done today, even though I probably don't have time. I don't know what I'm going to do, since I still have to edit all this. Can we just start the battle already? This is my third attempt, so... I did sink. I lost. Twice. That's why I'm ready to float and win this time. I will not be Gigantamaxing this time. Let's try Sucker Punch. I haven't used Sucker Punch yet. Oh, it failed. Oh, no. Agility is going to increase speed. Sucker Punch didn't even do that much. Horn Attack, on the other hand, will. Well, not as much, because now we're the same level. We're two levels higher than Goldian, actually. Water Pulse isn't strong, but if we get a critical... It does a lot. That wasn't even a critical, so. We're basically set now. We're even stronger than Arrow Kuda. We'll keep Drizzle in. Because Drizzle can fly through Arrow Kuda easily. water pulse it's all about levels that's what I learned from this it's 
See how now we're slightly above the level of all of these Pokemon? We're just flying through like it's nothing? That's because it's basically nothing. Yes, we're gonna keep him in. We're gonna save the Gigantamax for after Dreadnought finishes it. Gigantamax that way. We have an advantage in the end. We'll lose a couple Pokemon because of this, but it's a sacrifice worth making, in my opinion. Especially since I think we outspeed now. We're about the same level as Dreadnought, too, meaning these attacks won't slaughter as badly. It's still going to slaughter us, but... See, Water Pulse did a good amount, and Confusion. Max Darkness, thank you. I know you're done, Drizzle. Okay. Now, I'll send out Linoon, because we haven't gotten used with Linoon yet. We're barely going to use Lenoon until Obstagoon, until like the last evolution, so we might as well get a little bit of use in when it's possible to fight. Oh, this is going to be Max Geyser. We learned that last time. Max Geyser is going to KO. It's three turns, so that's turn two. The rain, that's going to help when we go... Gigantamax. We'll switch in with Stuffle. These Pokemon are basically just sacrifices so we can go all out in the end. With Brutal Swing. Snapped out of confusion. Max Geyser again. KO. Stuffle fainted. Now it's Yamper time. Hopefully, I went at the right moment. I did. Now it's time for my plan. This is like an hour-long video, too. See, we have a new move. Let's see. 90, 120. 120 super effective, plus the opponent's not maxed. So, but we are. So, goodbye. It's time to be obliterated. Plus full HP. Plus we're not severely under level now. It's only four levels. Razor Shell. Still put a major dent, but this should too. That's a major dent. Plus the electric in the battlefield. Razor Shell, even if it does KO, we should be good because we still have two Pokemon left. Maybe this wasn't enough leveling. Who knows? But we have Corvusquire, so we should be good. Power Trip. Razor Shell, please don't KO. Let's go. Defense fell. Power trip. Oh, that didn't do too much. Oh, no. Bag. Revive. Use item. Drizzle. Yep, I'm bringing Drizzle back in. That's our only option. Headbutt. That's a weak move. That's probably the weakest move this Dreadnought knows. I think this is the time where we actually win. Water Pulse. First turn, or first move. We strike first. We won. Finally, we beat the Water Gym. 
and it's 11.59 a.m. Wow, it's about to be noon. And it took us that long to win. How? How can this be? I think I understand. Thank you for the badge. We got the water badge. Catch up to level 30. I'll take Whirlpool. I don't think Whirlpool was even used, but... And we have the water uniform. We won't be changing uniforms until we get the ice uniform. Oh wow, Supervillain was waiting outside for us. She looks like a super villain. The seafood restaurant's this way, right? Oh, why are there people sitting outside waving? That's just creepy. That's great. Please be seated. This is probably about the darkest day and everything. Local cuisine. Unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to dynamax. Still so much we don't know. That's a device that allows me to discover Visit the vault in Hammerlock. About time we get going. Like, no time like the present, I bid you farewell. A vault would be a good place to look. Here's a TM as a reward, thank you. I should drop in on her. Next we get to move on to the fire gym. Hopefully no rival battle. Moto Stoke, if we zip over there. Well I'ma heal up. And then we'll we'll hit the gas and go visit the fire gym leader in Galler Mine number two. I don't know why they just named him Galler Mine One, Galler Mine Two. That was that's how you know that the developers got lazy. No, I can't go to the station. I don't have the DLC on this account. Well, if you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.